Okay guys, so I bet you're wondering why I got these both speakers right here naked. And yes, they are naked because the covers are removed. Um, these were the original covers, right? You would just basically take them off and you could see the inside of the speaker. And here we have the cover to this other uh, Harman Kardon speaker. Either way, we're gonna put this to the side now and I'm gonna discuss the problem I have with my brand new Harman Kardon um, Gold Play Plus speaker here. Uh, it's broken, so that's the problem. Now exactly how is it broken? Uh, I'm gonna show you a little clip here, kind of a close-up picture of the way the speaker itself in this base is separated from the actual unit. Um, so basically the way this works is, um, this is a normal functioning Harman Kardon Onyx studio speaker. Now you have two regular speakers here and two tweeters on top. But the main thing that develops the bass in these speakers are actually the passive radiators. Passive radiators are uh, in both the front and the back. Uh, the same thing on this speaker, you have a passive radiator in the front and one in the back. Now the issue is, as I said before, if the speaker is not sealed and there's a gap somewhere in the case in the enclosure, you will not have an effect of a sealed unit and basically you will have no base. Uh, so let me just demonstrate for now and later on I'm going to connect it to kind of a, a frequency generator. I'm going to listen to the way they actually sound. But let's say for instance I you know, kind of push in on the, on the front base radiator here. Notice what happens in the back when I turn it around. The back one is now pushing back with an equal and opposite uh, direction, kind of like Newton's laws of motion. So let's say I push it from the back, right? You could see in the front, it's coming out. So no matter what, this speaker is sealed and the bass system will work effectively. Now check this out. So this one has, as I mentioned just now, one in the front, one in the back. So let me just push this one in. Look at this, no movement at all. So, you know, when I first turned it on and the grill was still on, I turned it on, it sounded terrible. And I was very surprised because this is a highly rated speaker with uh, supposedly, you know, it's uh, four times 25 watts. So you, you have 100 watts power compared to this one. This is only 15 times four, so this is 60. So this is a very powerful speaker. You know, it was on sale. I wound up paying 200 for it. Now I will return it to Amazon. You know, thank God it was Amazon Prime. I can go and return it, no questions asked. Uh, but normally this is a $400 speaker. So 200, you know, brand new, I got it, why not? Um, I probably will get another one, you know, depending on, uh, I guess, well, if you guys uh, think I should or not, just let me know down in the comments below. Uh, maybe this is a sign for me not to get it. But either way, um, this is a really nice speaker, but unfortunately when I first turned it on, it just sounded so bad. And you know, I, I really couldn't believe that all these people were reviewing this speaker on YouTube and giving it such fantastic uh, reviews. I mean, this is, uh, comparatively speaking, one of the highest rated, uh, you know, non-boombox style speakers for your house or you could use it outdoors. And it just had absolutely no bass. I mean, I could not believe it. Um, so now, uh, give me a second here. I'm going to connect both of these to a frequency generator with my iPad and uh, we'll see you know how many Hertz they go down to and basically what the problem is so you will be able to demonstrate it on video okay guys so I got both of these speakers connected through Bluetooth they're both powered on we got this basic function generator from the Apple Store it's basically a frequency generator we have a couple of these fine-tuning adjustments and we're basically just gonna test the amount of the lowest frequencies they go to this one is supposed to be uh, obviously playing at a lower frequency because it's a more high-end speaker so you should be able to hear it at about 45 to 50 Hertz this one should basically stop being audible at about 50 uh, that's the rated uh, Hertz rating for this. So right now we're gonna start at 250, and here we go. They're already basically playing at about 50% volume, and we're gonna start with the Harman Kardon Onyx Studio, which is this one. And here we go. So that's 25. This thing is starting to vibrate already. Let's go down some more. 115, 105, 95, 85, 75, 65, 55. As you could tell, this thing is vibrating a good amount. At 45, it's basically inaudible, so there's no actual uh, bass at that level. So let's go back to 55. So let's just turn it around to see what it should look like. 
you could tell that this thing is jumping in and out. You know, if I hold my finger here, it hurts. So you could tell that basically this is how it's supposed to work. This is supposed to go here and in the back. You know this is a sealed unit. All right, so we tested this one. We know the hertz it goes down to. Let's now go back to our uh, preset 250 hertz and power on that speaker. right now let's go down 10 10 more 10 more 95 it sounds like it sounds like crap guys there's absolutely no bass you could tell that the speakers here are actually vibrating but this is doing almost nothing 75 65 55 45, almost inaudible. It's a little bit better than the Onyx, but still. Let's go back to 55 so we can be at the equal levels. So right here, look at this. The speaker itself is vibrating. Look at that, it's moving in and out. There's actually a whole bunch of airflow coming out from these holes right here. You can tell there's a giant hole right there where the speaker isn't even sealed. Right there, see guys, you're not supposed to be able to see through that hole. And in the back, also you have minimal movement from the bass radiator. Now, as you saw on the Onyx Studio, you had a whole bunch of movement and a whole bunch of bass. So right now, why don't we just switch back to that speaker at the same frequency rating and we'll see what it actually should sound like, you know, if we had any kind of seal on the speaker. So just a very deep bass. Now, of course, that is a lower rated speaker and smaller overall main drivers. But there you go, guys. Just wanted to give you a demonstration of uh, what you should look for. Uh, basically, you know, when you get these packages, make sure you open them up, test them. I can clearly see that both of these here, both of these are actually having a hole. Now, uh, I'm not going to open this up. Obviously, you know, I'll void any kind of warranty or return policy I have, but it doesn't look like I could even move it. Uh, you know, it looks pretty solid in there, but there it is, guys. It's a damn shame. I really wanted to love the speaker, but you know what? Maybe it's just a fluke. Uh, I've never had really bad experiences with the Harman Kardon speakers. I love them. As a matter of fact, I have two uh, other ones, the Aura Studio and, um, another one but either way there it is thanks so much for watching guys if you have any questions about anything here please let me know down in the comments below and i'm curious have you ever had any kind of issues like this with a brand new speaker you just purchased i hope not but let me know thanks